Hi, we're live. Hi. Are we live? Yes, yes. we are live. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sesting. Hi, Santi. Hello, everyone. And welcome to another episode number five of Get Your Geek On. So yes. let's hope for no... Hello, Enda. Hi, Hi welcome. Enda. <laughs> welcome. Let's hope for no technical uh, problems today. Problems. Uh, I have my boyfriend's laptop behind me in case something happens here. So, but we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome everyone in today's uh, Geek Get Your Geek on episode. And today, uh, we're going to talk about. Well, I'm going to read Cersei's amazing description she has written for this episode, which is where is it? yes. On today's episode, we cover our favorite games that we have played over our lives and that we are playing now. Point and click adventure games is a big favorite for both of us, and uh, World of Warcraft has taken a big chunk of our time. So that is the summary. And we have a list of games that we're going to cover in yeah. no order whatsoever because we're not that organized. <laughs> Just how we wrote it on the list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, um, because we both enjoy adventure games a lot and we both have played World of Warcraft a lot. I still have it, yes. Yeah. And we figure, of course, we're going to talk about it today. Um, so, yeah. Where do we start? Which one should we <laughs> take? <laughs> yeah, we, on the list we have put Silent Hill. Uh, I guess that was my... Because I yes. believe you are not into those kind of games. I did. No, no, no. Wait. Let me, okay, let me okay. explain. explain. <laughs> of course, I knew about Silent Hill. And of course, I was like, oh, my God, that sounds so interesting. But of course, I knew that I was going to be scared. So the first time I played, it was Silent Hill, Hill 2. And I tried playing okay. on my laptop. Two. That's weird. Most people don't like the two. Well, I was like, I'm just, it was later on, so I just downloaded, oh, okay. I think. Was it two? I think. Anyway, one of the Silent Hills. I think it was two on my laptop. And it was summertime in, uh, in Greece. I was living in Greece. So, summertime, heat, hot, sunny. I was playing Silent Hill and still I got scared. I closed it and I never played. I played like 30 <laughs> minutes and I was like, oh. 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> But a cool game. So tell us your take. <laughs> well, I actually have a little bit. I did enjoy, enjoy it and was scared also. Uh, I didn't play the two. I played the first one and that I really, really liked uh, and played all through. And then I skipped over the two. I'm not sure why, but it just I have heard that people don't really liked it and I just didn't try it. So I went to the third one, started playing it, but was getting really uh, bad nightmares. So I stopped playing it. <laughs> Where is Odette? I should have messaged my friend of Odette. She has been a huge uh, Silent Hill fan. And yeah, the nightmares. And I mean, is that the one with the triangle head? The yeah, exactly. The nurses? Yeah. No. I think so. They saw what, yeah, and, and he like drags uh, drags something. the something. What nightmares? Do you remember the nightmares? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. I just feel this is not good for for my soul. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Hi, Hello. Robert. <laughs> uh, good to have you here. So, have oh, you? I... So, Enda and Robert, have you been playing uh, Silent Hill? Let us know in the comments in mm. the chat. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, so, therefore, I didn't play that as much as the next game on our list, like it's Resident Evil, that I really, really love. And uh, at the beginning, I was too scared to play them. <laughs> and okay, this is a little bit embarrassing now. <laughs> but, Tell us. Uh, yeah. No judgment. Here. <laughs> uh, my, my, uh, boyfriend at the time, I was uh, like 16 years old or something, uh, he played Resident Evil. So I watched him playing because I, I was afraid to do it myself. Mm -hmm. but... PlayStation 1, and that, yes. Yeah, exactly. PlayStation PlayStation 1. And then he also played some kind of uh, like dinosaur game that was very like, sorry that I'm skipping now but i need to tell you <laughs> to 
to some <laughs> <around>. oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. uh, it, it was very like Resident Evil. It was like the same uh, game mode or was that a it. The publisher or creator developer not, same. I'm not sure if it was it must have been it must have been Capcom uh, because it looks exactly the same it was the same models but it was with dinosaurs instead of zombies and uh, one night I just I got a little drunk and then I just now I'm gonna play this <laughs> that's the embarrassing I, I, I part I dare not <laughs> I didn't I didn't yeah Dino Crisis yes that's the one because I was too scared for Thank you, Enda. Too. <laughs> so I played that when I was a little drunk, so I feel a little bit more brave. And then I also tried the rest of the table, and then I just fell in love with it. But uh, I played one, two, and three, and then four was just not for me. So there I lost interest for Resident Evil. But I love the other games. And I feel embarrassed and actually that I have missed something in life that I haven't played Resident Evil because of course I know Resident Evil. And then when the first film came out in the movies, you know, it was like, oh my God, of course I'm going to see it. And yes, I saw it and I loved it and I have seen almost all of them, but I haven't played. I'm lying. I remember now I have the Nintendo Switch. So there is a hmm. new Resident Evil 7, 8. I don't know its number. Mm. I didn't buy it, but it was a demo. You could play it for free. And I was like, oh. I'm going to download it. And, you know, fun in uh, handheld, you know, Nintendo Switch. Not on the TV, but, you know. And I was not that scared. It was not that scary. It was just a shooter, really. Mm. So it was yeah. well, a bit, bit a jump scare here yeah. and there. Exactly. It's not like, because Silent Hill, it's more psychological. Um... Silent Hill, it's you like yeah. you cannot see all of the screen and it's like you don't know what yeah. will come out yes it's a lot of jump scares but when you get into it you really yeah. it's mostly about the puzzles and that's why i like it i like puzzles and that's why mm -hmm. i didn't like the fourth one because there were no puzzles it was most mostly just shooting <laughs> in that game more i would have enjoyed that more maybe <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but it was so. I, had, I didn't like the environment, and they kind of changed the story a bit mm -hmm. about the, it being some kind of African virus instead of the whole Raccoon City outbreak story. Oh, they uh, changed the virus. Yeah, uh, kind of, uh, I'm not source. sorry. Saltation needed here. I, mean, I think that's what happened because uh, it was it was a different story for me. I remember so. Mm. So, well, no, so no. that was some of the more, um, what do you say, a console game I played. PlayStation was the first. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, if you go back, uh, like our second episode, I'm talking about the first inter television <laughs> console that we have. That was my first console. <laughs> okay, yeah. But the, that's another story. But then I have never played, I have played Nintendo, but from with other people that had Nintendo I didn't have mm, yes yeah me too yeah so it was PlayStation for me that I was the first that I own myself mm -hmm. so, yeah. uh, okay yes I, I, so as I said I feel like I have lost uh, that I have missed something important in life for not playing the Resident Evil but, but you yeah. can still do it and now they have done a remake so I'm kind exactly. of feeling like playing it again I have not yeah I can still do it, but yeah. But at the time you were playing, you were into Resident Evil. I mean, I don't know what years are we talking about. It was, uh, it was like 98, 99, exactly. somewhere there. Yes. Mm -hmm. What I want to say is that... Um, that Tomb Raider, Tomb exactly. Raider, that was for me, it was PC favorite. only. Yeah, but Tomb oh. Raider back then. I, uh, PC. I had PC. My first PC, it was, uh, what is it? Pendium 2. You know, I had yeah. like 64 megabytes of RAM and like two gig of hard disk. And I thought I was like, oh my God, I have so much space. So that's why I was uh, playing um, Tomb Raider. It was only PC. Yeah. Uh, but what I wanted to say is that at the time that you were playing Resident Evil uh -huh. and you were living in Sweden and I was living in Greece and we didn't know each other, <laughs> I was probably playing Half-Life at yeah. the time. Which that was my passionate that point mm. and I remember it was my brother uh, I how do I say it it may or may not have been a not purchased copy but 
he came to me and he was like, I have a good game here. Have a great, oh, okay, let's put it. It's a shit there. And it was like, poof, you know, Half-Life, mind blown. So yeah, mine, uh, it was a Half-Life and it was a blue shift, which is, it was the same story, but you see it official. Then I played it officially. I borrowed it from my friend, uh, Vaso. Uh, the story of the police officer, not the story from um, the scientist Freeman, uh, Gordon Freeman, but you play it as a police officer inside that chaos. So I played that. Um, so I was the first uh, an FPS. Where is it? I have it. I have it somewhere here. There it is. There it is. I'll have all of them. Yes. Yeah, and you see it's also Portal, because I played ah, Portal also. Yeah. Okay, I actually have not played Half-Life. Can you have it time to tell me a little bit of this, about the story? It's some kind of alien invasion, right? Yeah, it's like you start and there... Okay, okay. I have to play Resident Evil and you have to play Half-Life. <laughs> yeah. You will play Black Mesa, which is a, a remastered project. It's another company that took it and made it better graphics so yeah i mean you start as gordon prima you're going to work which is your work is uh you go into an elevator and you just go down in through the earth in i don't know how many meters i don't remember very meters europe i don't know what that <laughs> translates to miles <laughs> but <laughs> kilometers they can say kilometers <laughs> yes but yeah for robert um I think Enda, I think you are you are in Europe, I think. Anyway, so you just go down and as you go down, you enter, you know, you think like uh, Area 51, you know, some sort of... I'm thinking Resident Evil. <laughs> or, or, yeah, exactly. You go down, down with the elevator and then it's just going to go to work. But then something happens, some kind of earthquakes, things shaking and aliens it's like some sort of portal opens and aliens mm. come. i vaguely remember the plot to be honest not i'm not as good but yeah and then you have to clean the area you have to kill the aliens mm. you know, to survive yeah and it's first person you start with the uh, what is the english word not that i know the swedish <laughs> so. uh, no the one thing the the thing that you open the doors the uh, yes, yeah, crowbar. Right. Kilometers is good. Crowbar, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, and I, I knew you were European as well. Uh, <laughs> so I've seen like models because I watched some of the Gary mods. That is a mod of Half Life. <laughs> so I've okay, seen with the crowbars. <laughs> exactly, the crowbar. Correct. So yeah, you start with that, and then you advance. You get a weapon, and so on, and then you kill aliens, and then. Ah. But you're not done, and yeah. the story continues in episode two. Yeah, okay. and so on. Yes. Well, okay, that that's on my list now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, from that franchise, you know, Half Life, as you see here, it's a franchise because we have Team Fortress franchise. I don't know if that's the correct term. We have Team Fortress, uh, Team Fortress Two that came on that. What year was it? This one, the orange box, it includes includes Half-Life 2 and Episode 1. So this is Half-Life 2, Episode 2, but it also has Episode 1 and Team Fortress 2 and Portal. So but should I pay Half-Life half 1? Yeah, I mean, there is a story. Everyone talks about Half-Life 2 for some reason. Was that a better game? That because it was it was a good sequel. It was, okay. And you have Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and Episode 2, so it's three games. Hmm. And we're still waiting for Half-Life 3, which is like a meme. It is like, it, it, it's oh, never okay. going to happen. They have no. actually said it will not happen. I don't know if my son, my son is asleep. I'm home alone. Home alone, not home alone. Yeah. I'm alone <laughs> with my son. So if it happens, if he comes, you know, I will just Shows be on trap. mommy duty no. <laughs> for a few minutes. Yeah. Um, it was a very good sequel, like continuation. So but you need to know the story so and uh, if someone wants to play the half-life if you have never played it search for the black mesa go on steam and it's black mesa which is half-life okay Just can you re write it uh, in will... chat for me so yeah. i see well we can you can talk about it later because i don't know yeah. how you spell it 
I'm gonna search for it and I'm gonna okay I don't have my coffee mug black mesa video game probably take me on steam correct and if I may share my screen yes of course uh, window chrome tab black mesa. I'm actually hosting today because we didn't really know how it would go with if it because of it's gonna go asleep yeah exactly <laughs> So that is, uh, and that yeah, is exactly okay. Half Life One, but remastered. Oh, okay. Reimagined, you know, they they made it better, the graphics and everything, mm. more yeah. modern. So yeah. Mm. Perfect. Yep. Well, yeah, and uh, well, after that period, if we're going to be a little bit chronicle, that's when I found the point and click games no not really the first point and click game i got was from my brother some christmas and it was the monkey island one and two and i absolutely love that and they are being remastered at the moment i don't think it has released yet but it's going to happen soon so that's that's fantastic <laughs> another game that i have missed i don't know don't ask me why i don't know why just <laughs> I missed it. Yes. I have missed a lot. I mean, you can't mm. do any, everything. It would be crazy <laughs> if you did. Yeah, well, um, I know some people that have, but okay, yes. <laughs> it, it's a really fun game. It's uh, That's what it's about. It's about humor. It's not about... What you see? can you say? It's not like a cool game. <laughs> it's more than just like fun. Like and serious, it, yeah, like a serious yeah. game. Or, um, no. Hmm? So... It, it's but I actually like the third one the best because uh, then they made it more like a cartoon and I really like that mm -hmm. and then they went over to made it make it more what do you say 3D animated but I didn't mm -hmm. like that it wasn't I think I have heard game. that before from people that have played it yeah, so. it's good like a cartoon that's that's mm -hmm. how it feels I don't know why they uh, thought that that we needed 3D <laughs> for some reason. Development, advancement. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I think maybe they will uh, make it different this time. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're going to re... I have not read the article, uh, like the whole article mm -hmm. about it. So I'm not sure if they're going to remaster all of them. But it felt like it when I... So just it's going to be... Yes. So it's going to be like the first, the original, just the same story and everything. Yeah, just... I think so. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. think it's still going to be, maybe they do all them as a cartoon or if they still going to have the kind of graphic, but. Pixel. But yeah, I style. think so. Because people love pixel styles. They, they make pixel styles games today. So, uh, well, yes. we'll see. Mm -hmm. We will see. So, yeah, that's yeah. my first point and click. And then I I then went, okay, I'm not sure where in the order here, but I found this long, the longest journey. It might have been my brother again. <laughs> the brothers, they came with the good games. <laughs> Play this. So, and I absolutely love that game. And yes, I will. Oh, Final sure. Fantasy, I had forgot about it. The graphics were class at the time. Final Fantasy, it had pixels. That's something I actually missed. My husband loved the Final Fantasy. I have played a little bit of it, but uh, not completely finished. <laughs> it was number six one or third, if where you're American. I have played Final Fantasy. I haven't played the best of all times, which is number seven. I think I played eight or nine. I think I was... six is better than seven. But I haven't played seven, so I, I'm just saying what my husband that sits over there thinks. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he um, thinks the seven is overrated. More could be. I don't know. <laughs> of course, there is a, the story is always n nice. Yeah. And at the time with my friends, my the gang that I was, uh, my then boyfriend and, you know, the, all our our friends uh, I got a lot of games input from them because they were if we are geeks they are hardcore like hardcore 
gamer geeks and uh, yeah everything so um did i get uh, the longest journey from odette and a friend from that period uh, we're still friends i mean yeah yeah um, <laughs> but we were in the same circle at the time okay, yeah uh the longest journey mm -hmm. and final fantasy VIII. Uh, i have to admit that. i have to admit that i played the final fantasy i have to say it with a trainer because after a while i was like no way there's no way i'm not going to spend years playing this game i want to see the story so i used the cheater we forget what i said now let's go back yeah. to this journey <laughs> no it's okay <laughs> we want to hear about your cheats no i'm just kidding <laughs> yes. it's completely okay mm -hmm. well yeah the longest journey uh it's a norwegian game that's really awesome it's made yes fun calm yes and i actually played it in swedish because they had that version so I played it really in great. english mm. and i'm gonna play it again now this friday because i got a little <laughs> premiere yes Nostalgia Friday premiere in, on my channel. That's my own thing. <laughs> yes. <Yay. laughs> yes. And then we will see this the, the first, well, not the first time, but kind of the first time I'm doing this kind of stuff. And on my own, we will see. I don't know. I hope I will <laughs> not Wait embarrass have myself. You made, have you made the event yet? Is it No, scheduled? I haven't actually. I, I okay. need to do that. Because, I just. Uh... I want Remember. to watch it. Yes, I mean, I will do it after we finish here. Mm -hmm. So it will be this Friday, April 29th at 9.30 p.m. We will be and there. CET then. European, European time. time. Yes. <laughs> no worries, Robert. Uh, but you said hello. Me. You did, you did before, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you are um, very, very welcome. Mm. Yes, so that's happening. I'm going to play it again. Uh, Qu from... Question for yes, you question. about yes. longest journey. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the coffee place, the cafeteria? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly that. Do you remember the music? I get goosebumps. Yes. yes. Oh my god. Oh. It's yes. like I and I was so. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No, it's like I enjoyed when she was going at the coffee place mm. because I could hear the music and. Yeah. Yes, it's really good music all over the game and yeah. like everything. It's just so I don't know. You really like the scenes, the, the atmosphere. It's it's really really good. And it, yes, and the protagonist April. What was her? Did she have a surname? I don't know. Sorry, no. But it was April, it correct? It was April from Arcadia? And, well, yeah, in Arcadia. Yes, and. Uh, she is a really, really good character. Uh, that's got a lot of attention, I think. Mm -hmm. Like a really good character, a game character. So I really recommend this game and I hope you will join me to watch it. It was play. made in 2007. Was it? Oh, I well, played it. Pre production, the developer of the original. I have some trivia. Uh, the developer of the original The Longest Journey and Dreamfall first announced, uh, no, sorry, Dreamfall chapters on 2007. The yeah. Dreamfall. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think it was like 2000, 2000 or 2001. I lived with my ex boyfriend at the time. Mm. So it was not 2007. It was 1999. Like 2000... Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, designers Ragnar Turkvist, Dietrich Tollefsen, very Scandinavian names, very Norwegian yeah. names. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar, yes. 2007 seems like yesterday. Yeah, I know. But it was 99. It's, it was the day before yesterday. 99. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, so. the longest journey, it was actually... I cannot say that I have been a huge point and click fan, but of course I enjoyed the adventures because it's a low paced, you know, you don't have to be always on guard with shooting and zombies yeah, or enemies. Exactly. Just play it with your cup of coffee or tea or whatever, and you enjoy it with some snacks, you know, and play. Mm. And 
as you said, the atmosphere, the scenes, and the music, a download. I, I don't know. Are we allowed to say? Well, back then people were downloading stuff online. Okay, back then it was okay. <laughs> it was not okay, but it happened. Well, a lot. <laughs> it was. Uh, it it was uh, before it was not okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <gasps> Uh, but I found that it was four tracks on that cafeteria and I found them. Maybe mm -hmm. it was all, fact, actually, I don't think it was illegal. Maybe it was on the website or something. I found them and I was listening to them on repeat and on repeat. Mm -hmm. I was like, it was and amazing. That I wanted yeah. to say before that I was really in love with that. Was it Charlie? The guy that she liked too? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let, me find, let me remember <laughs> that. Early, yeah. Uh, and it's a bar. It's not a coffee. She works there. Adrian. Ah, oh, it's Fringe April Cafe. Ryan. April Ryan. Yes, of course. Uh, the fringe, the Fringe Cafe. Yes. Ah, uh, Charlie. Yeah, the guy that had uh, some sort of not the dreadlocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My God, I see the graphics now and they look bad, but back at the time they were like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it doesn't look good now, but mm. I will show you. Can I? Did you play that? the sequel? Yes. Here, here he is. Yeah, he doesn't, look, he doesn't look so good now. Can no. I? <laughs> but yeah, the, oh, he was so that. nice. I really liked yeah. him. I know. He, it I was very good. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's so nostalgic, really. Yes, it is. Oh, God. Well, yeah. But yes, no. I played it. Well, as I have seen, it's two, two sequels. So yes. I have played both of them. And I did enjoy them. And they are more like the adventure games is today. It's more about what you choose. It, has uh, different outcomes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure about the two, but the third one is, is like that. Depending uh, what you choose, you have a different outcome? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that was in the two, but it was uh, uh, quite different from the first. But the first was a really like point and click game. You just move to different scenes. Uh, linear, but the, linear. Yeah, yes. but the two was more, you moved a lot and it was a little bit bit of uh, fighting, action, what you say, some fighting mm -hmm. in it. And I didn't really enjoy that because that's not what I'm after when I play these kind of games. So I... Uh, I really enjoyed also the... I don't remember too much fighting. No, it's Maybe not it much, was... but it, it's just a little bit. It was like it was it, when she one. went back to the mm -hmm. Arcadia yeah uh, place are you planning on playing the whole series i'm not sure okay there's so many things i want to play maybe i yes, yes. think maybe i will uh, go for um uh, sorry grim fandango the next actually oh okay yeah yeah okay uh, i, I didn't give... enjoy this yes. as much <laughs> as I uh, yeah, uh, it did. It, it didn't have the magic. Of no, the first it didn't. One. Mm. It, and it wasn't the same. Mm. What I enjoyed about that game, I, rem I remember. I have to give credit, of course, again to my friend uh, Odette, uh, that she told me it's out. The second, it's out. Okay, let's play it. Okay, okay, okay. Bring it, bring it. So we were playing it at the same time different computers and we were talking about it uh mm -hmm. do you remember she had on her phone she had a phone and she mm, had yes. like, you've got mail you've got new messages and of that she found the sounds oh. and we were having them on our phones <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes <laughs> something like when it come a message something i remember mm. something like that i don't remember what kind of phone i had but uh, I if was... it's in 2007 it could, I'm not sure. Some sort of Nokia. They have iPhone. Did we no. have iPhones then? I no, don't know. no, iPhone came. I'm not sure. Well, iPhone came seven or eight. 
but I didn't have it. I do think we had smartphones. I need, I think LG had one. We had smartphones, but I think we had still with the buttons. I think at the time I had probably the Motorola, the Razer, the... You're sure? Um, Isn't that before that? Wait I a think... minute. Motorola, Razer... Because 2008, me and my husband got married, and I think we had some kind of... We had... Oh, memory. I think he had an LG, but that that broke very fast. Oh, we're getting into some com some other area here. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find an article here because maybe you're right. I think. Wait, at 2000, I moved to Sweden in 2009, and before that, I either it was a period when I had the Motorola, the Claw myself, mm, the yeah, worst smartphones. Yeah, and then after that, I had the Sony Ericsson. Mm, exactly, I mean too. <laughs> the pink one. Okay, I had the red one, <laughs> but with the buttons. Yes. The buttons, and you could slide it, and you had the keyboard. Oh, uh -huh. right. no, I didn't have that one. Uh, but I and had it had also Ericsson. headphones, you know, its own headphones, mm -hmm. and it was MP3 player, so it was big at the time. So, Okay. Uh, so, which, which, which red Sony Ericsson you had? Uh, but that, that was not the slide, it was just like the screen and buttons and kind of just square, <laughs> not square. But you say it's it's a rectangle, I guess. Okay, okay. Sony. Oh, I think good. I know what you mean. Well, it was pretty much the same like my Sony Ericsson Red. Was it the Walkman series? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Walkman. Because it was big with music at the time. Oh, yes, it was. But I think I ah, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. An iPod at that time. Uh, wait. Yes. Sorry, no. we are in, in a bit of a tangent here about the, about the what you say notice. What you yeah. call that area? Which area? Well, the two thousands. The notice. Oh, it's gross. Okay. No, I don't think it was. Maybe it was one of those. <laughs> I had this one, this one. Okay. So you had not this red. I, no, maybe like the one a like, little bit up. That's no, I have no slide. I'm not sure. Something maybe like it this. Wasn't a walk. Yeah. I'm not sure. Sorry. Or like this. Yeah, that's that was more also like popular. that. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it was a Walkman actually. But it was some kind of that looks mm. a bit like that. Yeah, so you know you could add um, custom ringtones, which you ah. still can do it on an Android. Yes. Uh, the white one, then the black the one. one. <laughs> you had the, the white. Both. And then the black. That yes, those were very cool phones at the time. Yeah. Yes. And they had great speaker, like headphones and microphones. Yeah, it, it like, did. Uh, oh. That yeah. was the time. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. But you and Robert are going to talk about the 90s. Yeah, so next time. Did you have a phone then? <laughs> we should have our phone. Uh, Robert, did you have any old phones from the 90s? <laughs> have them as props. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. back to the games. Yes. The longest so journey. It was a real favorite of mine. And Green Fandango, that also, I didn't say that, Monkey Islands, made by uh, Lucas Art. Mm. So, yes. uh, and also Green Fandang Fandango. So that's why they kind of, mm. they make some, uh, I think it is, no, I think it's actually in the, the first uh, Monkey Island, they do a little bit of a, uh, uh, advert <laughs> in the mm -hmm. game about a uh, green fandango so mm -hmm. that's also a game i really love mm -hmm. yes an it's old also phone. We yeah, old it, cell uh, phone uh, from no the phone. 90s like a brick <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> like uh, saved by the bell zach the car he had one of those do you do what's the saved by the bell show do you know it no. well it was a show but i know 90s. i know people who had that phone and i had yeah, some like, that 
my dad had. It was a little, you can open like this and uh, <laughs> pull up the antenna. My, my but it wasn't a really big, it was a little bit smaller, but it was, <laughs> it looked like a, yeah. a play my phone. Dad. Yeah. Our dads had those, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the <laughs> first <more>. generation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I did. No one had the one with the battery. Like the, I haven't seen, carried around. <laughs> no, I haven't seen this in real life. No. Oh. Sorry, no. we're stealing from your show. <laughs> <Forget. Yes. Sorry. laughs> next game or next next game. Next yeah. week, check out Pop Goes the Stream. Correct. Yes. Next Friday, we change the date. Yes. And the day, the day, mm. yes. Mm. yes, yes, okay. So, back to our list Next World game. of Warcraft that World happened. World of Warcraft, I didn't play it when it came out. Uh, it was when I met my husband that I'm mm -hmm. hiding behind here. Sorry, he's <laughs> hidden, yes, <laughs> he's, he's hidden behind there. Uh, when I met him in 2006, he <laughs> I'm up for it. <laughs> Bring on the old phones. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have any old phones. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> no. Well, yes. Uh, so he, I, I think he had stopped playing at the time. He had played it a lot before he met me, but then he didn't play it. But then he showed me, I think, on a private server or so, I'm not sure. He just showed me and I played a little bit and mm. I really liked it and then uh, a little bit later we bought when the, he started playing when the we did both start playing at the end of the uh, oh sorry Ugh, what's the second uh, expansion burning crusade burning crusade yes mm. it was in the I end so. in the of the burning crusade but I don't uh, remember ever getting there before uh, Wrath of the Lich King came out, so okay. Uh, therefore, I didn't play the end I look games. At my boxes. And... Yes. <laughs> Wait, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. So we bought um, them and then Wrath of the Lich King came out, so we bought that immediately. So yeah. I remember mostly about Wrath of the Lich King. So now when I'm playing, I'm playing on a private server called Warmain. So that only has up to Wrath of the Lich King. So that's, okay. that's kind of my era. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, where do I begin? Yeah, <laughs> my era hasn't really. Well, it has. It stops on and off. I played it with vanilla the first day, mm -hmm. and I, again, my friends back then, uh, my boyfriend and the gang back then, you know, hardcore gamers, and they were like, "Oh, World of Warcraft is coming. Are we gonna play it?" And I said, "Of course, I'm gonna play it." I mean, I have played Warcraft uh, two and three, you know, mm -hmm. regular uh, like casually on my computer well casually how casually can it be and i was like of course i'm gonna play online so vanilla you know 2000 i think it was 2004 you know uh, and since then i have stopped i'm like i have played all the expansions not the pandaria no but it was the one you have played is that no you stopped also i stopped there. at uh what? oh god the one with the black wing Cataclysm. Cataclysm. Sorry, that was my brain probably the best, started. one of the best uh, expansions. Cataclysm. Okay, I did. I, I, I didn't really get into it because we had our child at the time, so I just oh, yeah. played a little bit. I mm. did really enjoy the, the that you could play as a goblin. So I played up to I don't think fifty or something, but then I didn't have time for it anymore. Okay, mm. so I didn't. I did play a little bit because I had some uh, uh, characters that was 80 at the time. So I played a bit on the new content there, of course, but uh, well, just life happened. So I didn't really, so I don't really know much. Wrath of the Lich King is that 
I love the most because that was when I was playing the most. But mm. that doesn't mm. mean that Cataclysm was not a good expansion. But when Pandaria came, I just felt this is not for me anymore. I felt the same. I was like, what is this? It was like, mm. yeah. After Cataclysm and you come with Pandaria? I yeah, but I it... think they wanted to sp speak more for the younger audience. And that maybe. means you often lose the older. <laughs> Not maybe. everyone, but... Maybe. Uh, but then we had uh, Legion. Hmm. Well, not I don't remember exactly what was after Pandaria. I'm like also I, so there was also a period where I stopped for a, a lot of years, like quite a few years, because we had Mass Effect. Hmm. I at least I had Mass Effect, so I was focusing on that. So, uh, but then uh, it was Legion, and then what was after Legion? Oh my God! Shadowlands. Uh, before, before, I, before, before I think that. it was before. Okay, I have kind of missed the expansion. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have lost track. It was after Legion, it came something, something, something. <laughs> and I have, but I played it like for a month and I opened the subscription and now I have, I don't have the subscription open anymore. But the new expansion will come soonish. I will play for a month or so, and then yeah, yeah that's Mist it. of Pandaria, Warlords mm -hmm. of Draenor. Was I have played that. Legion. Yes. Battle of Azeroth. That. And then yes. Shadowlands. Yes. Yes, I have uh, played, but you know, played, played. I was just soloing, not any raids or groups so much, but just yeah. being solo, questing, picking up flowers, you know. Uh, okay. Stuff like that. Can uh, I just there you have it. Yeah, Legion Battle of Other Shadowlands, yes. So I have played all of the expansions, but not the Mist of Pandaria. You don't have to go through that when you play the other ones? You don't have no, to because when I start, when, No, because from Warlords of the Draenor and or I think it was Legion actually. I think it was Legion. You start in the new location. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you don't have to go through that. Through the hole. Or at least I st you continue where... Oh, my God. Uh, you get also a boost. So it's like... Oh. I don't remember what level I was, but you get, like, instantly, like, boosted. You know, they have made it easier. Because, oh. yeah, I was 120 in Cataclysm. Mm. But now you're back to... Yeah, to know, 60. 68, 60, yeah. I think it's actually back to 60 now. Mm -hmm. so yeah yes so world of warcraft a big part of our lives a, a lot of hours yeah. a lot of hours spent but i never really was a, like a raider or a pvp player i'm mm -hmm. more of go go around doing quests and yeah, me too. Yeah. Kind of yeah, exactly. player. I know I'm weird but I kind of like just being in the world and if I had to choose auction I, house a bit also selling the flowers get money yes, you exactly know. Yeah, yeah. and do the mm -hmm. and do the uh, like the professions I I love them. yeah and like in increase your thing. like uh, armor making yes. and leather and stuff like that yes yes exactly mm -hmm. so uh, what? Sorry, I lost my. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah. Sorry. But I... <sighs> that you were oh. not doing raids and not just questing, doing quests. Yes. Yes. Because, and of course, I yes, this was what I want to say. If I had, if I could choose, and of course I could choose, but as my, I wanted to play with my husband, and uh, I want to be in a guild and and talk to people because I love that but if I could choose I actually want to be on a uh, role-playing kind of mm -hmm. uh, server but my husband mm -hmm. is really into pvp so I had to be uh, I have to be on a pvp server to be with him and I actually hate that because that's the worst thing of World of Warcraft to just to going get, around uh, and doing uh, quests uh, and just being alone and people just come and kill you I hate that. Yeah. So that's why often why I stopped playing for a while because I just get pissed off. <laughs> so. Yeah, but they have changed that now. So they, uh, I don't think they can do that that easily. You have to be 
a flag that I am open for PvP mm. because it was yeah. very annoying but and because all of my friends PvP, were but isn't in PvP. It, if you play on a PvP server, you're always flagged as PvP. Not anymore. Okay. It, that was my understanding. You cannot, you don't have to do that anymore. It's they have changed it. Uh, it's like you can mm -hmm. choose. You can be on a PvP, so you can choose if you want to be open for PvP or not. Okay, something yeah, that, like that. That is better for me. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, but I really like just if I could choose and have some friends do it with me, I could just be in the game mm -hmm. in a bar. <laughs> Just <laughs> rolling. I love that. That's what I really want to do. And I think that's what the game is originally for. Am I wrong? <laughs> no, no. Because today, the uh, only thing is about having the best gear and uh, just being a douche and kill people. That's the part of the game I don't like. No, sorry. No, me neither. I mean, for me, the game is doing quests, reading the lore, the story. Yeah, I mean, you know, exactly. continuing the story, go to the world, see the cutscenes, do some raids that are part of the plot. Uh, build. I like to build my character, of course, like with better armor, yes. but not to kill, but to be, you know. Yes, of course, uh, it is a bit of the game. Of course, it is a part of the game, but it's just always about being the best and if you've seen my intro video that's exactly why i don't like i just i just want to be have fun i'm a casual player i just yes what's the one i have found i i don't care about how much damage you do of course if you want to uh, take down this you need to be focused i believe that but it's not always about how much damage you do it's also how you play yeah. Yes, so it, I, I really don't like the way, well, I guess, kids today <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. play this I, game. I agree, yeah. And I is about to buy a console. Which one are we going to buy? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The PlayStation? Uh, Warcraft was a big game in the 90s. Yes. Wait, are you a PlayStation or an Xbox or Nintendo? The thing about first? PlayStation that you can't play the old games on it. That's why... I feel on a bit the new sad. one you can. Oh, you can. Okay. Is that the five? The majority, it... not all of them, but the majority now the PlayStation 5 has a PlayStation 4 mm. accessibility. Oh, I just remember another console game I love. That's not on our list. Okay. Can I me. can I show Yes, you? of course you can add. <laughs> uh, oh god. And my brain have to work. Can we talk? A, can you talk with Enda a bit? I'm just gonna, yes. Okay. Yes. A building. If ever it was the collaboration of strategic team up in those games and PlayStation. Enda. Yes. I. We have a PlayStation Five. It's like it was in our family budget. Okay. So we were talking with my boyfriend. And I said, listen. Okay. We're going to get a PlayStation Five and we're going to get an Xbox, uh, the new one, the box. It's just a matter of when, you know, and how to budget it. And one day he sent me a message, like, not one day, I mean, we were at work, so he sends me a message and he wrote to me, I did something. And I was like, okay, I was trying to think. I was like, what did you buy? Did you buy a PlayStation 5? Like, I knew it was that because the way he said it. And since then, we have like a couple of months. When did, when did we get it? Two, one month ago, two months ago, one and a half? PlayStation 5. He played um, Assassin's Creed. He's a huge Assassin's Creed player. And after he's done, I said, okay. I started playing Horizon. Amazing graphics. Amazing graphics. The story, I cannot say that I'm like, oh, super wow. But it's a great game. So I'm playing that now. Um, maybe you could play on YouTube channel. Of course, you like the con yeah, by all means. Uh, Robert says you, we used to have the original PlayStation. Now I keep the PlayStation 3 to be able to watch Blu-rays. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. When we had the PlayStation 3, it was our main Blu-ray device, media device as well. Yeah. Uh, but we gave it away to a cousin, uh, Henrik's cousin gave it or sold it. I think, or 
anyway, yeah. And then we had the PlayStation 4. We, we have one for, I think he gave one, he sold one PlayStation 4. We have, we had two, and now we have PlayStation 5, yeah. Huge PlayStation 5 fans, enthusiasts in this household. And Nintendo. Hmm. The, I like the Xbox because it has a, a a very good deal with the Game Pass, like a season pass. They have the pass that you pay $20 or, or euros a month and you have access to all the games. Uh, so it's a very nice deal, like to all of the current games. It's only a matter of finding time to do that. Mm. Yeah. Well, I only had the one and two. Uh, then I just didn't feel. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I didn't want to put some money in it, and I kind of played on, on my computer from that point mostly. Yeah, because PlayStation Three, when it came, it was expensive. Well, there still was are, the, but back then yeah. it was like a. Yeah. Yeah. It was really expensive. Yes. Yeah. So well. The game I played on PlayStation 2 that yes. I really loved. It's beyond good and evil. Oh. And if you haven't played that, you should really play that. Yeah, so, I know about this. I mean, I have seen that it's familiar. Yeah. Is it the same? Who is. Uh, who no. made it? Yeah. Actually. Doesn't matter. It looks cool. So it's a woman uh, hero. In yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's not first-person shooter. It's more like you have some kind of um, stick <laughs> that you, okay. you, you do it's with like some boots with. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Third-person RPG? Third-person, yes. Mm -hmm. Third-person is the one. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. I, I don't know why I only see pictures. Can I? I yeah. Uh, there. <laughs> I click Sorry. on Wikipedia the first link and says this article is about a book by Friedrich Nietzsche. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it looks interesting. It's really good, and it has more like I don't know. What do you think about sneaking around? Oh, stealth. Like stealth. Mm. It's a lot of that. Uh, I am mm, depending. I have played games. I have played Thief, which is only stealth, and I really mm. enjoyed it because it was a good game. Um, but I get, I get mentally exhausted after a while <laughs> from all the sneaking around because you know i don't succeed and i have to do it again and i was like yeah yeah um so and i want to try red dead redemption yes that's an rpg mmo uh, or is it yeah, it's not the memo but it it's is not uh, MMO. well i don't know if it has an online also but you can play it offline so uh, playstation kind of wild west Yes. Yes. Uh, my boyfriend has played it and he was like amazed by it. it was a, it's a great game. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm looking for who made the this game, but... It uh, doesn't matter if it's a good it game. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a really good game. game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It must be Ubisoft because I ended up in Ubisoft's website, so maybe it's Ubisoft. Yeah, it must, yeah I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Because when you said it, it felt familiar. It's mm -hmm. about a girl that lives in a world that's kind of controlled by a big company. You know, it's kind of mm -hmm. the normal big corporation. Be, yeah, exactly. And and she figures out they are ripping. They are not doing what they said they're gonna mm -hmm. do. It. You know, okay. <laughs> you know, the story. Like a good story. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> and she kind of yes. infiltrates them, and that's why where the, uh, the sneaking around bit comes. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I have played RPGs like really Deus Ex Human Revolution. That it's a mm. combination. It's an RPG 
third person. It's a combination of action and stealth. Mm -hmm. I've so... not played those. Serious action, like violence, okay. a lot of violence. Yeah. Uh, hello, uh, tech troublemaker uh, Roy. Yeah. Is it Roy? Ray, Roy, yeah. Ray, Roy, Roy. Yes, I'm more of an Animal Crossing on sweets kind of person. Okay, well, I have a friend that she's telling me get Animal Crossing, and I was like, if I get it, I will get stuck in it. So I don't want to get stuck in it. It's very addictive. I have heard. So, I yeah. tried a little bit on my phone. It was not yeah. really the real game, but I didn't mm. really get into it that mm. way, actually. But um, it looks cute. Yeah, it looks the... very cute. Yeah. And it's also just kind of laid back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless I'm playing Diablo 3 on PC or Switch. Oh, are you going to play the fourth? Are you looking forward to the fourth? What is it? I have played a little bit. I'm not flexing, Diana. I'm not showing off, but uh, yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Just show off. We want you to. Uh, yes. Yeah. I have played a little bit of Diablo 3, but I'm not, not that into the slash. What do you say? Uh, hack and slash. Hack and slash, kind of. I like it. It's like click, 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 the coffee, click, 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 So, yeah. Okay, no. Well, I'm kind of more of a point of click. If I have to choose, that's my, what I want want to play the most, actually. Yeah. I get a little like, bit exhausted with the all. Just, yeah. I, yeah, and at our age now, at this time... <laughs> But I've always been like that, so I can't <laughs> really see. But something but... like the Logan's Journey, actually, that game, it's actually, it is for me like a milestone. Like, we need a new Longest Journey or something mm. as impactful as that. Yeah, yeah because now the adventure games, they're kind of different. It's more uh, like life, um, what do you, life... No, the one that changes goes back. Yeah, reminds. exactly. And oh. it has like chapters. Change, uh, not um, life is strange. Life is strange. Yes, Li it's life strange. is strange. Yes, yeah, that's the one. And I did enjoy it, but I, I did really more like more like the the point. The really when you really point. This is more like going around mm -hmm. and talking to people. Yeah. And make it is not the same. Them. It is not no, really. Not I wouldn't call it an adventure. I got bored no. of it after a while, to be honest. I'm like mm. I don't want to play a game that I have to rewind. No, I want to mm. go forward. I don't want to go backwards. So like no. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's the puzzle thing I like. So I sh probably would have liked Portal. I've never played Portal. But if you like I puzzles, think... yes. Then yes. Yes. So I should try that sometime also and that's why i liked resident evil the first games because they had puzzles and shooting and uh, and i mm -hmm. really enjoyed that bit so uh, so that's why when i didn't like it as much when they they changed that in resident evil um, i see yes uh, uh, we have been talking for an hour and yeah. we are kind of running out of time. Yeah. But, so maybe we shouldn't elaborate. I just want to make some, um, let's say, oh. honorary mentions about yes. games. And like, uh, who remembers Max Payne here? The first bullet time before Matrix made it cool, <laughs> right? It was... Have you played Max Payne? I have played it, uh, mm -hmm. not finished it. Okay. The, the thing I most remembers about it, it was that uh, sometimes it was some soap opera on the on the TVs. Uh, the yeah. lords and ladies. <laughs> and me and my friend, we were like, oh, lord, yes, lady. <laughs> we were talking like that. We love that part. Yeah. Um, oh. I have to say something about Max Payne. Uh, so nowadays and even back then you know i play games on uh, normal or you know the medium difficulty you know just to have a normal experience never did hard never did nightmare or not easy nowadays however that i am in my <laughs> 40s 
if it's, there is an easy and even less than an easy, which is story, I go for that. <laughs> so it was the only game. Uh, play on easy and avoid stress in your free time. Exactly. That yeah. is my exactly. mental state nowadays. I mean, but if you really think the the game is getting boring, of course mm -hmm. you can hype it up a bit. Yeah. That's your but, choice. Yeah. You don't have to. Yeah. But Max Payne, it had the nightmare. And then it had also, well, I don't know if it was the nightmare, like uh, one through one. If you, if you don't die, like you didn't, you didn't have a save. Once you died, the game was over. So I played it until I died, and I was, you know, the bullet time and everything. I was must, I had mastered it. It was, it's the only game that I played in hard, and very hard mode. That's it. That's what I wanted to say. And another honorary mention, uh, I'm gonna have to say Mass Effect. All three of them. That's it. I don't care if you're a hater. You didn't like three. It, it's a big scandal, you know, like controversy. I liked all of them. Number two, I my favorite. Them either, but I have okay. heard a lot about it. Yeah. Uh, my husband played them. I, I'm not sure if he played all of them. All Bye, them. Enda. Bye. Bye, Enda. <laughs> Thank Bye, you for Enda. joining us. Yes. yes. Uh, I do. I think he played the third one. But that was the one that people talked most about. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not nowadays. They're making a remaster, which I don't see the point in playing it again. Even f maybe for those that they haven't played it, it's a good one. I'm not going to spoil it in case you want to play it. Mm. It's a great game and I enjoyed all of them a lot. And it is like I, I bought, I have a hoodie, like a, I, I bought merchandise, <laughs> like Half-Life. Not half life, sorry. Mass Effect. I had a case for my phone. Mass Effect. I don't know what else. I, have. I, I love this series and it's mm. yeah, it's great. And uh, that's it from my. From but I, my, you yeah. have uh, put on the list this visual novel, Japanese style. I really wanted oh. to know about that. Yeah, I forgot. Yes. That is. So yes, I have it here actually. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna share it. Mm -hmm. So I discovered this game on Nintendo Switch and it's called Coffee Talk. Like, oh, oh it looks it is pixel. It is that style that we were talking Ooh. earlier. Games made with pixels, you see? It is like this. But is that a kind of adventure game? Well, I was like, okay, what is this? It looks cute. So I started to playing it. This is, it is a visual novel. It's not really a game. It's just a story that you can story, go through yeah. on your Nintendo Switch and you just click, click, and you click to see the story. So there is no really options. No. Uh, so it's a visual novel. It's a novel. It's a cartoon. It's a story on your Hmm. Nintendo Switch. It had a mini mini game where you made um, a coffee at some point. You are a barista. So you had to make a coffee, the recipe correct. That's the only game part. You have the correct recipe and then you could make some latte art like you had to spin around. Uh, with a... Yeah, I failed all of the times. But <laughs> that was like 10%, not even 5% of the game. Uh, and there's another one that's called Valhalla. Mm -hmm. uh, Valhalla game. Um, bartender, but it is this one. Yeah, let me uh, share. Which is because I really enjoyed that one, and it was it is very easy, uh, lightweight, past time. I play this one as well which you work as a bartender and people come and tell you stories and your the actual game is where you have to do something is to make recipes uh, make drinks so you have to mix different okay. drinks to make a cocktail if you fail you fail you just redo it again it's not a big deal but that's yeah and it has the anime a lot of it you know the whole anime character <laughs> Yeah, uh, about the the people's stories. Yeah, you are like a bartender, this girl, and um, your goal is to make them drinks. They tell you their stories. It's like you're a bartender, and everyone comes, mm -hmm. and they are I don't know, they're sad, and they tell you, they open up to you, and you hear them, and your goal is to listen to them, ask 
it's not like you have any options. You just continue the flow and you make them the correct drink. If you make them the correct drink, they are happy. It's very hard to miss the drink because they actually give you the recipe or you have the recipe. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then if you make the correct, correct, correct. There are some things that if they don't give you the recipe and you have to guess, so I just Google. And then you get tips. And if you get tips, you have a lot of money in your budget. You can pay your rent, you know, okay. silly. So, so what so is... What did you enjoy about it? Was it just because it was relaxing? It was relaxing and anime, oh. pixel anime and relaxing. That's just that. It's nice. Yeah. Yes. Should we wrap this up? Then? Yes, we can. We have been talking for an hour. So we talked about your games, Monkey Island, all your adventure, yeah. click adventure, point and click. Uh, I didn't Evil. really get into the Tom Brady one because, the, but that's <laughs> we don't have time for that. We can do maybe another episode with um, maybe. Uh, yeah. cool women characters game cars. So we can focus on Tom Brady, of course. I mean, yeah, big franchise. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, you were the point to click kind of mostly a Resident Evil. I been the first person shooter, and yeah, action. So who of us will win? Definitely you. <laughs> no, there's I'm no win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you when it comes to adventures, I don't win. I, I'm horrible <laughs> with puzzles. So okay. yeah, no brains. You see, no brains. Just... But if you shoot me, like when I'm trying to... Yeah, shoot this. I can, I can be puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. So, but I cannot play FPS anymore because I get dizzy. Okay. Get motion sickness. <laughs> I'm too old. I, I have to be careful. I actually <laughs> also get motions, not FPS, but when you like drag around the mouse in some games, uh, and you like the camera like moves like that, then I get motion sickness. <laughs> uh, your favorite game is song pop party on your phone. I don't know this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If it is a, a new Monkey Island is coming out, but you probably already. Yeah. Yes. I'm very excited. <laughs> so thing, talk I about will probably it. play it on my channel. Yes. We can wrap it up with our um, sharing our channels and social media yes. so that people can find you. And uh, because I think is, yay, where, where are you? Here. Here? Yes. Yes. No, here. Yes. Yes. Oh. There. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Yes. You have spelled my name wrongly. It's X S. Oh, S X. Again. Sorry, I didn't change. <laughs> it's okay. I, I just wait a second. But go follow Sersing because it's gonna start uh, streaming. Um, are you gonna stream? Yes, live stream nostalgia, playing all cool games, and yes. more stuff, more content. Correct. So yes. yes. You can find us Twitter and Instagram. For me, it's that. Yes. And here. Yeah, I have problems on where to be. Yes. This is this the is channel that you're prob probably on. But uh, if you don't, uh, here's your channel. Mm -hmm. And here's my channel that you're not going to remember. <laughs> yes. But you have the links in the description, right? Uh, yes. Yes. I so do. Find the link and follow her. I need 100 followers to change it. So. Please hey, come on, guys and girls! Let, let's let's do that. Let's do it. Yes, but you can also just uh, search for Nimicute, and you will find me. Yes. Uh, and yes, on Friday, I'm gonna start my first own uh, content with Nostalgia Friday, when I'm gonna play the longest journey. So come <laughs> find me. Nostalgia again, the I oh. and the G. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is my problem. That's uh, okay. It's your charm. <laughs> okay. So how nostalgia? There was. I often actually do that. Just yeah, yeah. perfect. Well, no, it's well, yeah, it's how well. we type fast. The keys. I know. I do yeah. it. Yeah. I work, oh, yeah. <laughs> we should. We should have looked at it before. Sorry, it doesn't. No worries. No worries. Nostalgia. Uh, Central European time. CET. Yes. Yes. 
So I hope you see. I hope to see you there if you have the time. Yes, so, and this Friday. So you will be streaming this Friday. Yes. Uh, the longest journey. You said you will. Yes. Yes. And I will yes. uh, tweet it and put up yes. an event. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. Awesome. Well, well um, thank you everyone in the chat for joining us in Get Your Geek On. The next show, it will be in four weeks. Do we have, we don't have a date yet, I think, but it, no, in four weeks, what is it? We can check. Um, That's why you should follow us on social media so that you get the updates because I am so not organized. It's good that I have search thing that is the organized. May 25th. May 25th, next episode. Yes. Uh, so that we will be announcing it on social media when the time comes also. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sersting, for a great show. Thank and, you. And uh, see you soon, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.